Hi everyone, and welcome to your post-workout flow. As you can see, I'm very sweaty, and so I'm excited for you to join me. We're going in right after our workout into this practice. A lot of us don't have time to do yoga later, so I'm going back to back with you so we can get really stretched out and feel great. Grab your yoga mat and let's get started. All right, so let's get our body nice and relaxed. Let's bring down the energy a little bit. So why don't we bring ourselves to seated and then all the way down onto our back together. And I just want you to lay here with your knees touching. Separate your feet. It's an A-frame stretch. Rest your hands on your tummy. Good. Close your eyes as you start to deepen your breath here. So big inhale through the nose. Fill up the heart. Exhale. Let that energy out. Good, do that again. Big inhale in. Exhale, feel your belly fall away from your hands. Allow your breath here to slow down. Acknowledging that your heart rate was up, you were working, and now your mind is more quiet, your breath is more soft, and then again, open mouth, exhale, just let everything go. Good, I want you to open up your knees and now extend your legs long, one foot then the other, and see if keeping them in that shape felt nice so that now as you lay your legs long, take your arms over your head and stretch out from one end of the mat to the other. Good, exhale, release your hands by your sides, palms face up. Starting practice here as we find our breath. So let's inhale together for three, two, hold the breath at the top, and then release the breath for four, three, two, one. Good, inhale, three, two, Hold the breath at the top. Exhaling four, three, two, all the breath out. Continue doing that as you inhale and as you exhale, feeling and finding your energy. Noticing if you have the ability to breathe in longer, maybe a four or five count, do so. And if not, then just stick to that three or four. On your next inhale, you're going to gently bring both of your knees in with me so that we're going to hug our legs with both arms. Good. Rock from side to side. So massaging the low back into the earth beneath you. Now, instead of just a rock side to side, grab hold of your kneecaps like they're doorknob handles and then really draw circles with your low back versus a side to side. So now make a circular motion on the sacrum and lumbar spine. Good, now reverse the circle. Good, and you might feel a nice cushy little sensation there. From there, push your feet into the air, point and flex your toes, draw some circles with your ankles. I get a lot of questions, by the way, of do I wear socks when I do yoga, do I not? And that's completely up to you. <laughs> I already had them on, so that's why they're still on my feet, but Again, everyone's very, very different. This is a great sticky mat, so it's good with everything. Good, now rock up and down three times. One, we're gonna land in seated. Two, one more big rock to the top with me, and three, perfect. Cross your shin, sit up nice and tall, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, seated twist to the right. So turn your gaze behind you, rotate, pull your abs in. Engaging the core as you twist. Three. Good. Try to drop your shoulders down. Two. Good. Inhale through center. Reach up to the sky. Good. Exhale. Seated twist to the left. Same pose. Draw the abs in. Rotate. Three. Good. Turning to the left. Two. Exhaling. Come back through center. 
And then from there, just walk your hands forward, taking a nice forward fold here, stretching out your low back. Good. Let your chest come up and over your legs. Three. Good. Two. And then gently bring the torso all the way back up, long spine. Perfect. All right, big transition, shift forward. We find tabletop for the first time. Cozy pose, and then we're just gonna take our left leg, so watch closely if you need to, cross it over your right leg. So now your inner thighs are crossed, like you're squeezing your legs together. Now walk your hands slightly to the left, and then push your hips back into a child's pose-like action. Notice my butt is not down. Good, take that nice stretch for the low back and the hips here. Good, come back to neutral, uncross, and then switch. So bring your right knee around. Good, exhale, walk your hands slightly to the right. And now push your hips back, three. Good, hold here, deep stretch, two. And then gently shift back through center. Nice. Exhale from there. Turn your hands around. So start to open up your forearms with me. And we'll take a cow. So stick out the bum. Lift the heart. And then we'll take a cat. Tuck the chin round the back. And then work through that range of motion and that activity with me. Three. Good. Two. And one. Hands are going to move forward. Good, let's tuck those toes, lift your hips. We're gonna walk our hands all the way to the back of the mat. So you're gonna go right into a forward fold at the back of your yoga mat. Good, now bend your left knee with me so your right leg is gonna be straight. And you're just gonna push your hips slightly to the right. So you're gonna feel that all the way along the outside of your right hip. Hello, Miss Minnie. Good, and then you're gonna bend your opposite leg. So now we're gonna straighten our left leg and our right knee is gonna soften. <laughs> Good. And then you're gonna come back to center, take a nice deep forward fold, exhale, chest to thighs, booty to sky, deep inhale, deep exhale here. Good, from there, halfway lift. So hands right below your kneecaps, open up your heart for me. Good, exhale, forward fold. Repeat, inhale, halfway lift the spine. Exhale, forward fold. From there, walk it out to high plank for the first time. Maybe you need a knee down plank, that's okay too. Good, lower all the way down to the belly so you can drop your knees or lower with me on your hands and toes. Untuck your toes so you're on the tops of your feet. Good, inhale, squeeze your elbows in, press straight arms or bend elbows. So it's up to you, coming into your first cobra. Good, exhale, child's pose. Bring your hips all the way back to your heels as your forehead taps down. Perfect, rise up to tabletop, hands and knees. Exhale, the left leg is gonna cross behind the right leg again. So same thing we did. Good, walk your hands to the left. Now we're gonna push our hips back, three. Good, push into the top of your foot as well. I'm getting a nice stretch to the front of my right foot and shin and ankle. Again, mine are tight from running and cycling, but yours may not be as tight as mine, so you might not feel that. Good, come back to center, and then switch. Right leg crosses behind left. Good, start to walk your hands to the right. And then same thing, you're gonna push back when you're ready. Good. Come back to center super slow. Exhale, tuck those toes. We go back to down dog and again we walk our hands all the way back. Find your feet. Good. From the back of your mat, halfway lift your spine. Gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Good. This time keep your knees soft. Walk your fingertips to the right so there's a little bit of a twist here. Good, now walk your fingertips through center, take your twist to the left. Nice, come back to center as you fold forward, lift the tailbone, lower the heart. Perfect, walk it out to plank, exhale. 
Chaturanga, again, your choice, knees or toes. Come up to Cobra or Up Dog. Good, let's head to Downward Facing Dog this time and then actually stay there, meaning we're not headed back to a forward fold. Good. Now, Down Dog can be very comfortable for some. It can very, be very uncomfortable for some. So find your level of comfort. Figure out what feels good, what feels right. Where do you feel tight? Where do you feel open? Good. On your next breath, I want you just to raise your right leg all the way up. Roll out your ankle a little bit. Feel some movement in the ankle, toes. Good. Switch. Left leg lifts up. Same thing. Good. Put it down. Now come high to the balls of your feet. Let's tiptoe all the way up to our hands. Beautiful. Halfway lift the spine, flat back. Good. Fold forward. From here, we're going to stand all the way up. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Lean back, open up your heart. Good. Exhale, circle the hands so they land next to you. All right. Now bring your feet tightly together. Slide your right hand down your right leg. Raise your left arm up to the sky and then reach over to the right. Good. See if you can take your hips and push them to the left. Nice. Take another big inhale. And then exhale, side bend to the left. So slide the left hand down the left leg. Press your hips to the right. Squeeze your inner thighs together with me, creating space. Good work, everyone. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Good, forward fold, hands to the ground. Halfway lift your spine, gaze forward, so a nice long flat back, good. Exhale, fold in. We're gonna stand together one more time. Inhale, reach up with me. Good, now bend your elbows, open up your chest. So feel that front body opening right here. Good, inhale, reach back up, draw the abs and ribs in. Beautiful, fold forward. Now lift and lengthen your spine. This time we're gonna take the left foot, step it back on the mat. Good, now move with me. We're gonna bend our right knee forward and then we're gonna straighten our right leg. Good, bend your right knee forward. Straighten your right leg. One more time, bend your right knee forward. Straighten your right leg. Now bend your right knee forward, lower your left knee down. Perfect. Come up onto your fingertips. Good, breathe. Now bring your arms all the way up. You're gonna put your right hand on your right hip. Take your left hand over your head, grab your right ear. Lean your left ear to your left shoulder for a neck stretch and then take your right hand away, palm face up. Receiving the energy of releasing through the right side of the neck. Maybe even tuck your chin. Good. Right arm rises. Head comes back to center. Both arms up. Exhale to frame your right foot. Good. Pick up your left knee. Step back. Down dog. Inhale. High plank. Good. Lower all the way down to the belly. Now, come up to Sphinx. So right forearm, left forearm. Good, make sure your elbows are out in front of your shoulders a little bit. Now, inhale, bring your chest up, elevate the heart. Good, exhale as you round your, your body in, pick up your belly button. Good, drop your belly button, inhale, open the heart. So a little bit of core in there. Good, exhale, tuck and round. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Perfect, inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, you're gonna put your hands where your elbows are. So one and then the other. Find your cobra or your up dog. Up dog is where the thighs are lifted off the earth. And then push the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Pick up your right leg, lift it high. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Crunch. 
Maybe it taps, maybe it doesn't. Send your right leg back up. Pull your right knee to your left elbow, crunch and tap. Maybe it taps, maybe it doesn't. Send your right leg back up. Good, step your right foot all the way through. Pause here. Good, now L-shape your left leg. So walk your hands forward. Notice how my hands walked out. Good, now lift left leg up. Good, your legs are in what we call an L shape, 90 degree angle. Take one more full inhale, engage your core, and then lower your left foot to meet your right foot. Good, exhale, fold in with me. Take another breath here so it's not too fast, and just again, feel the heart rate slow down, feel your body moving into your relaxation a little bit here. Obviously, we're still moving, we're standing, but we're more relaxed than we were. From there, rise to stand. Good. Again, bend the elbows, open the heart. Good. Re-extend the arms. And then fold forward, hands to the earth. Halfway lift the spine, lengthen. Good. Right foot's going to step all the way back for me, okay? Now, keep the right leg lifted, keep the left knee bent, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Good. Bend your knee. Now straighten your left leg. One more, bend your knee. Good, straighten your left leg, pull your hips backwards. Beautiful. Now bend your left knee, lower the right knee. Good, keep your hands down to start. And then inhale, bring your arms up. Now, this time we're going to do the other side. So take your right arm up and over. Grab your left ear. Pull your right ear to your right shoulder. Left hand is on your left hip. Or reach your left hand away. Palm faces up. Creating space in the left side of your neck. Maybe even tuck your chin. Three. Good. Stabilize here with your core. Two. Left arm rises. Then the right meets it as your head comes back to neutral. Good, exhale, hands down. Pick up right knee, giant step with left foot, back into down dog. Good, roll to plank. Exhale all the way down to the tummy again. Good, prop the forearms, return to sphinx. Tops of your feet are down. Good, lift the heart. This time bend your knees, give me a windshield wiper side to side. So just easing left to right. Hopefully this feels good as you move a little bit from side to side. Good, and then release your legs down from there. Perfect. Now I want you to inhale, press into your palms, seal pose, elevate your heart. Good, exhale lower. And if any of that doesn't feel good on your back and there's a pinch, then skip it. One more, inhale, press and lift. Good, exhale, lower. Now, something a little different. We're gonna take our right hand towards our left hand. So it's like a 90, or excuse me, a 45 degree turn, halfway. Ground your left hand like a push up. And now we're gonna roll our left toes behind us and we're gonna try to tap the ground. And then we're gonna roll back. One, good, three total. Roll, two, Good, one more time, roll. Variation of what people would call scorpion sometimes in their belly. Bring it back, now return the forearms, good. And guess what, you can stay with your toe over there and it could feel really good too. Now pivot the left fingertips towards the right, so it's a 45 degree turn of the forearm, so don't turn the forearm all the way in. Now ground the right hand like a push up to help you out, roll, tap. Good, roll it back, one. Two more, good, two. Try to plant the right foot, roll the right knee to the sky. Good. This time go flat, inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Open your mouth, let your breath out. Left leg rises, good. Left knee touches left elbow or gets close to it. Send your leg back up. Left knee to right elbow, crunch, good. Send it back up. 
Left foot steps through, inhale. Good, exhale, walk your hands really far forward, ready? L shape, right leg lifts up, hold it, three. Good, try not to lift your leg too high, look underneath your belly button, you should be able to see your big toe pointing down. And then fold forward. Good. Once your feet come together, exhale, release your head with me. Nice job. Full breath in, full breath out here. Good. Slowly rise. So bend the knees. Bone by bone, make your way to the top. Sweep your arms up. Good. Give me that beautiful elbow bend again. Open it up. Good. Reach. Feet are together. Right hand slides, side bend, just like I did before. Hips push left, three. Squeeze your inner thighs, two. Good, left hand slides down, left leg, right arm reaches up and over. Press your hips to the right, three. Good, draw the abs in, open up the right hip flexor, two. Good, inhale, center, reach up. Good, bend the knees, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift the spine, step the left foot back. One round, bend the knee, straighten your leg. Bend your knee and then lower the left knee. Good, inhale, bring both arms all the way up. This time, keep, continue circling the arms. Keep going, keep going, keep going until they interlace at your low back or your booty. Good, now slide the knuckles down, opening up your heart, broadening through the chest, creating space in your body. And this might be like, whew, way too much. Maybe you keep your hands in the air or maybe you just get out of the pose and keep your hands on the ground. Otherwise, take one more breath with me in this back bend. Good, inhale, raise your arms up. And then exhale, you're gonna put your hands down, walk your right foot over to the right, heel toe, heel toe. So now your hands are inside of your foot for the first time. Look at your right foot, turn the toes out to two o'clock, and now place your right hand on your right thigh bone and kind of push the hip open. Good. Stay here or bend your back knee, heel to butt. Continue circling the right arm around until you can grab your foot maybe, and then you can pull your heel in towards your booty more. So now you have a nice quad stretch of your back left thigh. Good, three. Two. Good, bring your right arm up and around, hand inside a foot. Perfect. Exhale from here, transition to tabletop. Very simple. Take the right foot, boom, bring it back. Good. Now swing the hips from left to right, so give them a nice little rock and roll sensation. And then take a regular cow, so spread the fingers wide, open the heart. Good. Right into a cat. Hold your cat, but I want you to move your cat forward and back. So three. Keep cat pose, so keep the upper back rounding. Two. Good, this time send your hips all the way back on one. Go head to child's pose, number two. Walk those hands forward. And then exhale, take a break there. Nice. Slow down your breath. Notice if it's elevated, how you're feeling. And then on your next breath, you're going to take your time, gently and slowly move forward all the way into a plank. Good. Chaturanga flow if you want. Push up. Back bend. And then to your lovely down dog with me. <sighs> Good. Right leg is going to lift from the back of the mat. This time, bring your knee right to your nose. So core plank. So instead of moving it side to side, you're bringing it right through center. Good. Send your leg back up. And now step all the way through. All right, you ready? Walk those hands out. L shape, left leg up. Hold. Good, three. 
stay here. Two. And then exhale, left foot meets right foot. Good job. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift your spine. Good. Exhale to fold. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Rise to stand. Take your arms all the way up. Good. And then exhale your hands to your heart for a moment. Just kind of feel your feet grounded on the earth. We'll get into that second side shortly. Hands release down. Good. Sweep them up. Elbows bend, heart opens, arms up, abs in, exhale, bow forward. Good, flat back, gaze long, right foot, step it back. Left knee stays bent, look forward, left leg straightens, look back and down, fold over the shin. Good, left knee bends with knee, right knee bends, put it down. Now, if the last pose was really intense for you, you can stay here. Otherwise, bring your arms all the way up. And then if you still feel good, continue the circle with me. Finding your hands. Gliding those babies down your bottom. And broadening the heart. Three. Good. Open up. Two. One more big inhale here. Good. If your hands are with me, reach them up. Good. Exhale, release your hands down. Now make that transition, walking the left foot over to the left, heel toe, heel toe. Now both of your hands are inside of your foot. Now look at your left toes, turn them out to 10 o'clock. And then place your left hand on your left thigh for a few breaths. Good. Now bend your left knee, heel to butt. Stay here, or maybe the left hand has the ability to grab your foot if you can. You may not be able to. Good. Three. Stretch out your right quad. Open and turn your heart. Two. Good. Exhale, release your foot. Hands are going to come back down inside. We're going to take that same transition to tabletop. So gently bring the hands beneath the shoulders. Slide the left leg back. Good. Booty bump your hips side to side. Good. And then inhale, cow. Exhale, round for cat. Repeat. Inhale, cow. Good. Now hold your cat like we did before and then move it forward and back with me. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Now this time you're going to sit back on your heels. You can tuck your toes or untuck your toes. Okay. And if you, for some reason, have a knee injury where this is not available, you can come up onto your knees or you can sit on your butt. All right. I want you to take your arms up. We're going to interlace our fingers at our low back just like we did before. Now, I want you to take your knuckles over to the right. So now I've put my hands on the outside of my right hip, and then I'm gonna lean my left ear to my left shoulder. And you should feel a neck release through the side of the right part of your neck and throat region of the body. Good, take another breath. Elevate your head back up. Good. Ready? Bring the knuckles around. Boom. Pop them onto the left hip. Right ear, right shoulder. Good. Left side of your neck opens. Three. Breath in, breath out. Two. Good. On one. Elevate your head back to neutral. Good. Now we're going to do a pose called rabbit. So you're going to reach your chest forward. You're going to put the top of your head down, not your forehead, top. And then your knuckles are going to keep coming up as your booty lifts. 
So you should think about your booty as the rabbit tail, your arms, all right? They're the rabbit ears. Three, two, hands to low back. Good, hands to yoga mat. Push yourself back up. Good job, head to downward facing dog. Rabbit pose can feel cozy once you understand kind of what feels best for your body. Good, left leg is gonna lift. Pull your knee to touch your nose. Left leg is gonna lift. Step your left foot forward and pause. Good, now walk your hands forward. Ready? L shape, right leg up. Squeeze your butt, three. Lift your heart, two. Fold forward on one. Good, widen your stance this time meaning bring your feet at least a foot apart. Grab opposite elbows and let's sway from side to side. Just feeling that cozy side to side release in the body. Good, draping the heart over the thighs. And then just let your hands lower, let your head soften. Take three breaths here in this forward bend. Inhaling and exhaling slowly. Good, and now I want you to bend just your left knee, straighten your right leg, and try to push your left hand down into the mat as you do so, and raise your right arm. So it's the same thing we did in the beginning at the back of the mat, but now we've added the twist with the arm. Good, exhale, the right hand comes down in front of the right foot. The right knee bends, the left leg goes straight. Then the left arm gently fades up to the sky, twist. Three. Two. Good, exhale, forward fold on one. Turn your toes out 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, so both of your feet are going to turn out. Sink your booty down from a lasana, which is considered a deep squat. Place your triceps to the insides of your legs. Pull your thumbs to your heart. Press your heart forward. Feel your knees move away from each other. Good. Now we're going to plug our right arm in front of our legs so that our right arm is going to reach out to the right slightly off the mat. So you don't want the right arm to reach forward. You want the right arm to reach out to the right. And then you open up the left arm. Three. Good, reach up to the sky. Keep pushing through your right hand, two. Exhale, bring yourself back to neutral, forward facing. Good, left arm reaches left, same thing. Right arm reaches up. Push your arm into your leg. Look up to the sky. Good. Feel that deep stretch. Exhale. Bring your hands down. Fold forward. Ooh. Heel toe your feet together. Good. And then from there, put your hands on your thighs. Slowly stand up. Good job. All right. Hands to heart center. Raise your left leg up. We're going to return to L shape, this time with our hands at our heart. So glide the leg back like we did before. Lift through the low belly. L shape. Also known as warrior three. Good. Keep opening the heart. Now, we are going to externally rotate our left toes by placing our right hand down. Turn your left thigh open. Turn your left toes. Notice how my back side is now parallel to you into half moon. Right hand is slightly in front of the right foot and slightly to the outside of the right foot. Option to stay here or bend your left knee. Take your left arm around. Maybe grab your foot like we did in that knee down variation of lizard where we took our quad stretch. And this may or may not be available to you based on flexibility or balance. Otherwise, see if you can reach for the foot. Try to open up your chest. 
Good. Now, if you have the foot, re extend. Exhale, left hand down. Close the left hip by turning the toes down, AKA L shape. Step all the way to the back of the mat. Good. Now, left hand stays put, right arm rises, twist. So now you're turning to the right. Good. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Exhale, down dog, right hand down. Right foot steps back. High plank shift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Continuing with the right leg, lift. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Hold, three. Two. Straighten your leg. Step forward. Good. Now my back side is going to turn towards you as we move into warrior two. So anchor the left heel. Come all the way up with both arms and then land with your right arm in front of you and your left arm behind you. Reach forward with the right arm, like reach past your right foot. Come into side angle, put your forearm on your thigh or put your hand down. Look up to your left hand. If looking up aggravates your neck, just look to the left or look down. Good, maybe take your left hand to your lower back. I sometimes just like to hold my low back and then use that to kind of open up my chest a little bit more but not go too deep. Straighten the right leg, left hand down your back left leg, right arm to the sky, reverse triangle. Good, cartwheel. Exhale, step forward, ready? Top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. All right, let's go wide feet again. Toes face forward, bend your right knee. Place your right hand in front of your right foot. Straighten your left leg and then open up your left arm. Good, exhale, left hand to earth. Left knee bends. Right arm rises to the sky. Three. Good, hold. Keep stretching, two. Exhale, both hands down, fold forward. Good, just take a moment here to breathe in and breathe out. Full breath in, full breath out. Heel toe your feet together. Put your hands on your thighs and then push yourself to stand. Good, let's do all that on the other side. Hands to heart. Raise your right knee up. All right, L shape, shift back, AKA Virabhadrasana C, warrior three. So pull the belly up and in away from the ground, lift through your back heel, engage your legs. Stay strong and firm here, try to hold the pose. Now look down at the earth. Your left hand is gonna reach forward and down to the left. You're gonna externally rotate your right thigh open. Good. And then from there, you're gonna reach your right arm up. Uh-oh, as I fall over. Half moon. Now, option one, stay. Option two, heel to butt on the right. The right arm sweeps around. Maybe you grab your foot. And then you pull your thigh open more. Good, try to really feel your chest nice, opening. Good job, kick that foot into your hands. Lift and open the heart. One more breath. Beautiful, now you're gonna straighten your back leg and your right arm unless it's already straight. You're gonna put your right hand down. You're gonna close your right toes down, hold it, AKA L shape, stay. Good, now step all the way back. 
Right hand plants inside of your foot. Left arm up, twist. Good, push through the ball of your back foot, squeeze your glutes. Three. Down dog in two. Exhale, left hand down, big step, ready? Down dog with me. Roll forward, plank. Vinyasa, if you want it, you can always say no thank you. You can add extra push-ups. Exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Three. Good, stretch with me. Two. And then we're gonna straighten the leg. Big transition, step through. Now turn your right toes slightly to the right, both arms straight up into the air, and land in your warrior two. Woo, good job. Reach forward, come into your side angle. Good. Keep your arm elevated or put your hand on your low back if you joined me there before. Look down or to the right, hold and breathe, three, Good. Two. Keep your hand where it is. We're gonna keep gliding the right hand down the back as we straighten the left leg, we straighten the left arm, we stretch. Now, instead of coming to the top of the mat and fold, fo folding forward, put your hands on your hips. Turn all 10 of your toes. Good. Wide-legged straddle. Bring your hands to your low back, open up your chest, and then hinge and fold forward with me. Coming down to the earth, releasing your hands, turning your toes in, softening the knees. Good, three. Two. And one, Skandasana. Last pose here before we take our final vinyasa to seated. So turn your right toes out to the right. Turn to the back of the mat by bending the knee. Well, not really turn, but bend the right knee. Sorry, confusion. Confused you a bit when I said that. And then the left leg ideally goes straight, ideally. It doesn't have to. And breathe. Good. I can feel the stretch here, specifically in my bent knee calf muscle the most. You might feel it more in your hamstring or your groin. Good, pivot through center, one, two, three. Use your hands. Landing in the bent left knee and the right leg will be straight. Good. Three. Good, feel the opening here, opposite leg. Notice if you can get as deep, and if not, that's okay, too. We're coming back to our wide-legged forward fold one more time, push and lift, booty up, head down. Good, exhale, just feel the low back lift up to the sky as the head drapes over your thighs. And then blow out a candle or release a nice big exhale. Good, pivot yourself forward to your left foot. Step back to high plank. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog, hips up. Separate your toes as wide as the mat so that your feet are nice and wide. Now bring your thumbs a little closer. And if you're really tight, walk your hands back some. Left hand's gonna reach outside of the right leg. Maybe you have to hold above the knee, that's okay. Otherwise, come below the knee and then take a twist for me. Look to the right, three. Good. Feel the opening in the outside of the right hip. Push your hips even to the right so you're almost like creating some traction. Good, exhale, switch. 
left hand down, right hand reaches. And if you can't do this because of balance or flexibility, that's okay too. You might notice it's a little hard. Three, twist, twist, twist. Good, looking left two. Exhale, both hands down, booty is still high. Push it back, really, really feel the stretch. Nice, drop your knees. Sit on your heels, but this time just sit here. And you may or may not again be able to, you might need to be up on your knees and just close your eyes. Your hands are on your thighs. And we're just taking a moment. Breathing in and out slowly. Good. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. Walk your hands forward. Walk your knees forward. Cross your shins. Have a seat on your booty. Good. All right, scoot your hips toward your heels. Wrap your arms as much around your shins as you can. And then do the best you can to round in here. Good. Deep inhale, deep exhale as you feel this nice, simple, kind of ball-shaped forward bend. Good. And then we're going to cross our shins, sit up tall. Sweep your arms to the sky. Repeat the seated twist from the beginning. So ground your fingertips, turn your gaze behind you, rotate. Good, inhale, return to center, reach up. Exhale, seated twist to the left, rotate. Come back to center, reach to the sky. Walk your hands forward and then drape your chest forward. Good, walk your hands to the right and as we do so, you're gonna feel a pull in the left side of your lower back. Walk your hands through center over to the left. Good. You're going to feel a pull in the right side of your lower back. Good. Come back through center gently, bone by bone. Exhale, soften into the lumbar spine. Good. Now inhale, lift up. Good, exhale, soften with me. One more. And soften. Good. Allow your legs to straighten out in front of you. And I want, we're gonna take one more seated fold here. So toes to sky, raise the arms. Reach. And then when you feel ready, fold forward. And again, I can get to my toes. If you can't, just put your hands down where you can. The more and more you practice, the closer you'll get, potentially. Good. And then just feel your body folding in as deep as you can. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Three. Good. Two. And then slowly rise up on one. Ha! Ah, scoot your hips forward. Good. Lay down onto your back. Pull your knees in. And then just hold your knees into your chest. So you're wrapping your shins around. You're just slowly shifting the energy from side to side. So feel the massage. And then return to the beginning when we grab those kneecaps like doorknobs and we drew three circles in one direction. Good. And then go three in the other direction. Good. Exhale, keep the right leg, lay your left leg down. And then pull the right knee into the chest. 
Good. Straighten your right leg into the sky. Hold above or below your knee. And then slowly pull your right leg towards you. Based on your flexibility, obviously that's going to be a deterrent from how far you can pull your leg in. So you can always put a strap around the bottom of your foot. But this is also totally fine just to pull the leg in and feel the hamstring stretch. Good. Take one more full inhale. Exhale, pull your right knee into your chest and lay it down. Good. Left knee is going to come in when you're ready. Give it a, some love. Give it a hug. Good. And then from there, exhale, left leg to the sky. Hold your leg in the air. And then gently pull it towards you. Good job. And then again, maybe you move the ankle around, playing with your flexibility, noticing what works. And then you'll hug your knee in. You'll bring your right knee in as well. Good. Rock side to side on your low back. And then you're going to take both of your knees and let them drop over to the right. So I want you to let your knees fall to the right, one on top of the other. And then you'll open your arms wide for a T as you gaze over the opposing shoulder. Good. Hold your twist. Good. Hold your twist. A couple more breaths. Bring your knees through center and let them fall the second side. Same exact pose, just spinal twist. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then you're going to slowly come back through center. We're going to take a full happy baby. So you're going to bring your knees into your armpits. You're going to grab the outsides of your feet. And you're going to rock from side to side on your low back. Good. Come on, Min Min. Give mommy like two more minutes. <laughs> Good. Bend your knees. Plant your feet. Good. Exhale, extend your left leg long and then your right leg. And welcome to Shavasana, corpse pose. Final resting pose of practice. Good. Good place to rest, to be quiet, and to just chill. And as you lay flat there, just allow yourself to relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowing down your breath. Feeling good and comfortable where you are. Good. See if your body and your mind are both in this really lovely place of accepting this relaxation, enjoying where we're at. Noticing it took some time to get here, but we have arrived. Good. Take three more nice, comfortable breaths on your back.
And then you're going to hug both your knees into your chest super slow. Rock side to side. Good. Exhale, come up to seated. Hands to heart center as you close your eyes. Relax. Allow yourself to enjoy this peace as we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you for practicing and great work.